Now at noon, fire crews are still dousing some hot spots at a Bay Area construction site that went up in flames early this morning. It is now being investigated as arson. Good afternoon, I'm Kenny Choi. The five alarm fire broke out around 2 a.m. Chopper 5 was over the flames and it was seen for miles. This is in the area of Filbert Street and West Grand Avenue. It was just one of the five fires that broke out in the city of Oakland this morning. Let's get right to Ann Makovic, who's live with the very latest in this investigation. Ann? And finally, after almost nine hours, some of the roadways around this West Oakland neighborhood are reopening. You can see firefighters, though, still on scene right now. They're going to be watching this area for hot spots for at least the rest of the afternoon. And the Department of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms, the feds are here as the investigation into the cause of this fire continues. You can see the outside walls of this apartment building are still standing, but it is demolished inside. And this is part of a string of similar fires in the East Bay. This cell phone video shows the original fire just after it broke out at 2 a.m., burning six apartment buildings under construction, an entire city block. The fire burned all morning as firefighters sprayed water to try to stop its spread. And while it hasn't been ruled arson yet, we do know that arsonists have been trying to burn down housing projects in Oakland. Wind carried embers from this fire onto Isabella Street two blocks away, starting this fire in between two homes at about 5 a.m. Red Cross workers already on scene snapped into action. Help evacuate the residents. People were not even have their clothes on, get their clothes on, get them out. Get the hose on a thing till the firefighters came and put it out. Then about an hour later, this abandoned home caught fire halfway down the block and neighbors on either side. I felt like I was going to die. We're evacuating again. The next thing you know, they're telling us, open the gate, open the gate, it's on fire again. And about an hour after that, a fire started in this shed after a tree that had caught fire fell onto its roof. I don't know what's happening. I honestly don't know what's happening. Firefighters monitored the fire from above using a heat sensing drone to find the fire's toughest spots as one firefighter was taken to the hospital with a leg injury. I understand he may have stepped in a pothole and maybe wrenched his ankle or, or injured himself somehow in doing that. The property owner, City Ventures, say they will rebuild the 124 homes that were in various stages of construction as they help with the investigation. We had security cameras on site. We had a security guard on site and still this fire was started. Worrying those living near construction sites today. We don't know if it's going to spark, something's going to spark again. And at one point, about 2,000 people around this area were without power. Some transformers blew in the height of the fire. But PG&E has been able to restore almost all of that power this afternoon. Live in Oakland, Ann McEvick, KPIX 5. And thank you. Meantime, crews are investigating if another residential construction fire just a mile away is arson related. This is near 36th and Peralta Streets. We've learned that these two fires mark the sixth and seventh fires at residential construction sites in Oakland in the past few years. The East Bay has seen several other major construction site fires in recent years. Just last month, rebuilding work began at an apartment complex in Concord that was torched by an arsonist back in April. And in July of 2017, another suspicious fire broke out in Oakland at a construction site at the corner of 23rd and Valdez Streets, just two blocks away from Lake Merritt. Then in May of 2017, a six alarm fire gutted another apartment complex under construction on the Oakland Emeryville border. The same complex was burned down in July of 2016. Now, a man riding a bicycle was identified as the suspect in the Emeryville fire. Authorities released these photos shortly after, showing a man wearing this hooded sweatshirt as he pedaled away in the middle of the night on the sidewalk.